us bring in Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, great to have you. Of all the stories that the mainstream media has either ignored or squashed, is this the most egregious to date? Yes, Todd, and I, I hesitated for a second, but when you think about it, it, it really is, because you also think about the fact that we now have a president in Trump that for three years, a Trump-Russia collusion dominated coverage in these situations, right? So it, it, you, you have basically a presidency that was hijacked as a result of this, and it wasn't even presented so much as an allegation, it was presented as gospel, that Trump absolutely colluded with the Russians, and therefore that's why he won the election. And then there were polls taken after 2016 when he won that found two-thirds of Democratic voters believe that Russia actually hacked our voting machines to change vote totals, all right? So here you have a president who is considered illegitimate, and it was called that by Hillary Clinton or Jimmy Carter or name your MSNBC or CNN analyst here as far as this guy really shouldn't be in office. Russia helped him. And now we're seeing actually the opposite in terms of this Durham report. Again, this isn't he said, she said, this isn't an unnamed source saying X, Y, Z. This is John Durham, who is impeccable in terms of his integrity, taking his time, doing the right investigations here, and concluding that a Clinton lawyer actually is the one who pushed this narrative and that a tech executive may have infiltrated Trump servers, not only when he was a candidate, but when he was president as well. We, we hear about Watergate all the time. This is absolutely worse than Watergate, if true. It deserves at least the curiosity of ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, Washington Post, New York Times to explore further instead of saying this is wrong. This is the, the don't, don't believe yeah. what you're seeing well, here Joe, and outright dismissing it without investigating it. Look at Carly. this from The New York Times. Yeah. Court filing started a furor in right-wing outlets, but their narrative is off track. And one of the things that this New York Times columnist takes issue with is the use of the word infiltrate because this internet company um, helps maintain internet-related servers for the White House, but it also admits that the company exploited this arrangement. Precisely. I, I, look, I, 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 I could go on about this. And look, you could say, well, Maybe maybe Durham is incorrect here, right? And, and obviously we believe in due process in this situation. But at least, at least try to explore this with one-tenth, one-one-hundredth, the vigor and passion that you did in terms of absolutely concluding that Trump was guilty before proven innocent around conspiring with Russia to to win an election. OK, so, you know, when, when Trump said this was happening, uh, as far as spying, the media just dismissed it outright, mocked him. This, this, this is not happening. And now you have a media that is trying to ignore the story and hide what may have happened. OK, right. so I, I, I don't even know where really to go with this at this point. But but I, I would hope that John Durham, if you believe that he is a great investigator, uh, and, and, and to this point, his career says he is, uh, this will have more uh, things to drop, more legs. And, and as it gets bigger, if it does, then they, they can't ignore it anymore. Yeah. Right, Todd? It takes minimal effort to report a court filing, yet goose eggs across the mainstream media board. It's ridiculous. Joe Concha, we appreciate your Thanks, time, Joe. sir.